Why not just keep your Delaware? Yeah. I have to have serious form of contact them to add like the ability to run. Just an M1 on yeah, your Delaware. Yeah, yeah, you just add it under restrictions. So mm -hmm. once you finish your court, you send your cert, and then I think you'll send you all the tests, yeah. an online test will do, and then they'll just add in one to your license. Okay. Yeah, because I'm a I'm a Texas resident, and I did the same thing. But you just send them uh, your certificate, like you complete from your training. Yeah. Uh, and like a form, you print out a form, you just send it to them for like a new license. Um, it's basically just for okay. a new license with the motorcycle attached to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you have a Delaware license? I, I have a Guam license. A Guam oh, medium. Oh, what's up, dude? That's not a real license. It really isn't. It, it isn't. It's it doesn't not matter. on the drop down. That's why I like it. Yeah, I, uh, I just get away with everything. Yeah. <laughs> I registered a new called Obama. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It was <laughs> such a <laughs> pain in the It is a pain in the so you, it's not like normal. Like you, when you buy a car normally in the United States, like you go in there and like, hey, I bought this car. Here's my phone. Um, they ask you for something. Yeah. You have to come there with the person that you bought it from. Yeah. It's stupid. And we didn't know the world. So luckily we could die. First off, it was licensing car. His private license. So you just brought it. So you brought it. And we like called me and like, hey, we have an election. So I thought, oh, no, that one expires by soon. So, like, oh, we'll just throw those like shit. All right, we're going to get this going. We got to be on here by 11. So, um, don't worry about saying it if you haven't already decided before you leave. So, uh, the point of today is to go over and talk to you guys about like how to use MUS to make sure you guys are familiar and comfortable using it because. As a motorcycle rider, it's your responsibility to handle your own bus stuff. I will go and approve your training credits once you complete stuff, but I, it's not my responsibility to look after everybody and hold their hands, right? So, uh, how to get some us. So, uh, from the homepage, come down here to safety. You can also have, click on it. <coughs> Up here at the top is motorcycle safety. Click on it. Um, there's a bunch of good stuff here that I'll show you guys here in a second, but I want to focus on must right now. So over on the left, click must. If you are going to be a new writer, you'll come here to create your account. Um, so I've got some different rights than you guys will as just members, but the one thing that I want everyone to make sure they're comfortable with is uh, going to add in my account, making sure that all of their information is correct here. Correct squadron, if you're PCSing, uh, our rank, all that stuff, your bike information as well. So, also at the top, if you're overdue anything, it'll be right here and it'll tell you it'll be red. So, how, how do you actually log yourself off on stuff? So, like every year, you're going to become up due for um, your annual preseason brief. Uh, I'll give you the brief, but you have to sign yourself off on it. So how do you do that? You come down here to uh, still under ad, uh, admin. Admin request course credit. So this is basically uh, like you're doing a uh, 1522, signing yourself off on something. So for instance, um, say like annual preseason, so just type pre. Annual preseason brief. Boom. You don't need anything. It says self explanatory. Complete the exact course above. Yes. Organization providing training 22 AS. Completion date, picture date, number of hours. It'll probably be like one. I, I don't think it does like in intervals. So you can just put one. Number of CEUs, just leave that zero. That doesn't apply to us. Um, and then do you have a course completion certificate to upload? So for the annual preseason brief, you won't have to do that. Uh, if you're doing like level one, level two, um, stuff like that, 
then you'd say yes and you'd upload uh, whatever document the training facility gives you and then submit credit requests and then once you do that let me know or I'll, i check from us uh, occasionally so then i'll i'll go and send you guys off so that's pretty simple that's how you request your training um so right now i want to go over i'm just going to literally go through everybody and tell everybody what they're doing so for safety training home page so i don't think you guys have the right to see this i'm not really sure but so we have total number of riders 25. so these are the things that are coming up due but i want to focus on people that are overdue training overdue <laughs> 70 percent of the squadron has overdue things oh yeah don't get a crash you can pay your own bills yeah, so I can see everybody who's on this list. Nice. And then what you want to do is you want to come here. Down blast. All right. So, <laughs> Carl, level two. So, <laughs> level two. <laughs> that was before yeah. I got to the squad. <laughs> okay, so up here, if you highlight the hover over this, so there's a bunch of people over here for level two. So, if you hover over this thing up here, this tells you what level two is. So, um, it says a licensed endorsed writer and or a BRC one course is sufficient to meet writer requirements for six months upon initial uh wait, what is that mean? okay here it goes so it says uh, training will be required after six months uh any approved course can be taken even BRC one to meet uh, immediate requirements once in your training course is loaded validated and assess the five year window to continuation training begins okay so that just means that you have six months after you get your level one completed, which is like your endorsement to get on your license to complete your level two. Okay. So this is like 90% of the people on this list. This is level two. So if you require a level two, you don't need to do the mentorship road, which would be level three, which is what this is talking about the five year window for continuation training. Okay. So now I'm just going to go name by name. So you have to do the, uh, the level two training, you can't do mentorship, right? And they got rid of that. Damn. Because right. it used to be you could just do the mentorship, right? Yeah. And it counted as well. if you didn't own a sports bike. Yeah. But they changed it. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the, the people here, and then the training video should suffice for people to figure out what they're due for. Uh, so let's see. E4, Big. You can tell them last time I had a big one. Big, level two. Lewis, I think level two, you're right there, right? Yeah. Yep, level two. And I'll show you guys exactly how to find out how to do this farm. I think you are level three. Level three. Yep, level three. Yeah, level three. So we'll be doing the mentorship ride on the 28th. That was a Uh Turner, level I think you're two. level two. Yep. Am I level two as well? I believe so. Um, okay. He's at the top. That's level three. Oh, uh, says so on it. Four down. Right hand side. Well, two. Yeah. Just came over. Who else is missing? Is anybody else? Uh, Carl, are you going uh, you, You're not a curb. I, I don't think I'm in. Uh, I don't think I saw three months over yet. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you need to go to your account and change yeah. your squad, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so now everybody's familiar with how to sign themselves off and how to see what they're overdue for. So now I want to talk about so level two is basically the biggest thing that uh, everybody's needing. Uh, I'll show you guys exactly how that process okay. goes down. All right, so come to safety. You're back here. Um, there's two places I want you to go. Motorcycle safety. Click on this. Uh, intermediate riders course. Well, also, uh, if you're a new rider like us or walking, then you'd click on this link. New riders start here. That'll take you through um, how to do that. Most of us in the squadron are intermediate. We require level two, so we click on this. I'll take you another link, um, and this has all the forms that you'll need. So you need to print out this checklist, or just do everything digitally, and then it'll walk you through what you need to do as far as getting reimbursed for your training. And as far as finding places to actually do the training, come up here and hover over this, and go to CSP Authorized Ranges, and it'll take you to a cool like Google Maps thing that will show you places to go and get your training done. 
Is there a time limit on when you could get reimbursed for the training that you did? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Can but it goes through training? finance. Yeah, finance. There's There's process training, for that would be uh, complete your checklist, yeah. which I'll pull up here in a second. And uh, make sure you send all your receipts, and there'll be a form that you fill out, and then you send it to me. I'll send it to safety, and then safety like make sure it's good to go, yeah. and then they send it to finance. Yeah, because I did my training last year, but I've never did it before. I think they might be time limit. Uh, I could call after this and okay. yeah. 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 call on and off. Okay, so then zoom in on the map. I don't know why it takes you right here, but we are up here because that's the center of California. Oh, I guess so. All right, cool. So. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff around here. That I think this is the Harley Davidson one. There's one in Vallejo, there's two in Concord, one in Woodland, uh, three in Sac. So these are all super close. One thing to note, we just had an LT try to get reimbursed for lodging because I think he did his up in uh, Reading. <laughs> what? TDY? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, they will not reimburse you for lodging. Um, oh, shit. I'm doing my training in Texas. <laughs> I can't remember if it says on here where it says. They've trying at least. Yeah. <laughs> it says somewhere that you're only allowed to be reimbursed up to. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay, so here's the checklist that you guys need to print out or just like go to fill and sign and do it uh, digitally. But as you can see right here, it says max level reimbursement. I'm assuming everybody's going to one older, so $258. That's robbery. So you will print this out or just do it here. And it tells you exactly what to do um, yes. and all your steps. So is that 258 for both classes, for the intermediate and the initial? No, this is per class. Oh, OK. All right. All right. Cool. How much is the uh, the level two? Do you know? Okay, there you go. I don't know. So that's another thing, too, that I kind of I want to work on, but I also want to have you guys like help me out with it as like you guys are the ones who need the training. So if you guys find a place, um, like the Harley Davidson place or any of them, talk to them and see if we can. Because I just want to get like something instead of like having people just go to this map. I want to have one that I can just like tell people, hey, we've got this guy. He's down to do like military discounts. Like talk to him about this $258. Ask him if that's something that we could set up as like military members and then run that through me and then I'll like come up with a, you know, a, a good place to send somebody. That way it's not all on them, kind of like it is right now. That way I can get better guidance and set people up to where they don't have to uh, pay for this. This new way that it sucks. Because I did it through the AFRC here on base, my one and two, and everything was paid for. And yeah, that's uh, how it was whenever I did it. Yeah, yeah. It was all on base. So uh, they stopped doing that. I forget why. I think it was because people just weren't showing up. And they so, weren't showing up, and then the people that were doing it just got older. And just, yeah. They don't want to keep doing it. Yeah. So. <laughs> that level two is bring your own bike, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Is everybody comfortable with uh, Musk and uh, how to, like, knowing your responsibility, that it's your responsibility to go in here and update your own training? Carl, I got a question. What's up? So, what if uh, I have, like, a, a moped that's like 100 cc's? Do I need a be part of this thing? Uh, I'm going to make a phone call after this briefing and ask about that. The M2, I think. Hey, bring your moped to <laughs> <Mobile Head. laughs> yeah, M2. I'll find out because, like, I know there is some people who, like, only ride their bikes. I believe Captain Soul. And so, um, yeah, I need to find out and get more clarification on that. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's just street riding, right? And then if you're just strictly just riding dirt bikes, and then it's just a uh, 410, I think. Yeah. yeah and then you need a 410 for a recreational vehicle or something like that. Yeah. I'll find out 100% sure. Um, cool. Any questions? Is everybody feel comfortable with coming in here and knowing how to uh, request a training accomplishment? So it's kind of like, I'm kind of like the scheduler. Just kind of like Logan sitting at the scheduling desk, so I was going to be like talking to you guys about currency. Uh, it's your responsibility. Case, yeah, do all my shit for me. Yeah, yeah so it's your responsibility to make sure that your must account is is Gucci. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. So this is a this is like a really big thing right now um, with the recent events that have uh, taken place. So this is something that's been highlighted by the wing commanders really looking closely at it. So uh, try to 
get your level two stuff taken care of. That's like 90% of these people in here require level two. So um, again, help me out with trying to uh, maybe get like a certain place on board with like the $258 and then we can just keep sending people there. So it should be like the 20 to the right? Hey, I got another question. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah. What's up? For that mentorship, right? Do you, do you have to be like present for that stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, what, what, if, what if my bike is like not fast enough to keep up with you all? You don't, yeah, so you don't even require it. You need level three still. Yeah, don't worry about that. You need level two and then come talk to me in five years. I don't think this shit's fast. Yeah, once you get level two, you're good for five years. So. I got rid of my, my sport bike, so. Yeah. I got both in. Well, yeah, oh, I know. I told you. I'm going to call and find out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, six months is whenever you go overdue. Yeah, yeah, but the ramifications of you going overdue is just like you're overdue now. So, okay, yeah, I was just curious. Technically, you're not supposed to ride if you're must count. Is it? Uh huh. I rode here today. Yeah, I'm calling cops. <laughs> okay, we got to be out of here in five minutes. minutes. So you guys all are trained. Make sure you sign up before you leave. Can you show me the uh, the uh, form to get your money back to see if it has a time limit on there, real quick? Oh, I don't know. It's like two hundred bucks here at Dover. It was only like thirty five hundred dollars. Oh no, this is like four hundred dollars. But four hundred dollars. Hey, I'm not spending my own money on this shit. That's what uh, that's what I was saying. Walking yeah, yeah, one. I did it over, and they said it was 200 bucks for the Air Force Three first, but you just pay yeah. 35 bucks and answer. And then you, you could get that reimbursed on that. Only 35 bucks. Yeah. So, yeah. This course is more than 250 dollars. Well, you gotta find someone. Why are you gonna sign in though? I don't know what this isn't even. This isn't even like training. What training is this? Uh, pre-season brief. Oh, pre-season brief. Let's see that on the thing. Yeah, the pre-season brief. Uh, it's like a mandatory thing. I think it's yeah, like, hey, we're forcing you to spend your own money on stuff that we're requiring you to do. Speaking of